to the latest spot. Wait. Why? Before watching this tutorial, make sure you see the first part of this video from the top right corner or from the description. But if you've already seen it, came for part two, then welcome back, amigos. <laughs> The first transition I'm gonna teach you is frequently used by Gozo in many of his edits. So make sure you absorb carefully what I do. I'll start by adding around 4 null layers. For this, I use the script called AdNulls, which you can find in the description. I'm just quickly gonna enable blur and add darks. After that, I'll start with the transitions. Make two keyframes and set their values like this. Easy use the keyframes and create a loose crop. Once again, on the second null layer, create a zoom out from scale 100 to 60. Select the speed graph and follow my lead. Now, we're gonna create a screen pump. On the third null layer, create an animation from scale 100 to 250. And on the fourth null layer, animate it back to normal using the speed drop. Further shape, simply copy and paste the S shape we made uh, in the last video and then change the face to 8.3. Advance a few frames and place a keyframe for the amplitude, then animate it a couple of times so and easy easy. Recompose it and duplicate the layer. Following that, I'll draw a rough mask for the bar movement. I prefer using the grid to ensure smoother movements. To animate the mask, double click on the edge and pull it downwards or upwards. Add invert to the bottom layer. Add swap transform and animate the scale Y. For the impact, add as dissolve shake and follow my instructions. The 
amplitude determines the overall strength of the shake. Place keyframes and I create the shake using them. Apply the same shake by slightly adjusting the values and other bits as well. Also add an opix compensation and animate it for a warpy effect. It seems I forgot to mention the warp but nevertheless add it on the same layer. Change the warp mode to fish eye and then animate the blend. These are the basics but if you want you can further enhance it by adding turbulent displays. Just make sure to follow my instruction. And with that, we're done with this transition as well. Now for the shakes, simply copy and paste the dissolved shake that we made earlier onto all the other clips. Just make sure to remove the extra keyframes specific to that clip. Once everything is done, pre-compose the main layer. Also, I often receive many comments on how to get the live preview on my channel, so I will quickly show that as well. Add the remake clip you want on the topmost layer and ensure it remains above all the layers. Then scale the clip down and position it on the screen. If you're concerned about making changes to that layer, simply hit the lock button to avoid any possible subconscious mistakes. While the border movement should be basic, I'll still explain the fundamentals for beginners watching this video. Now, moving on to the bars, create a solid layer and add CC jaws to it, reducing the height parameters. The completion determines the amount of black bars you will actually get, so animate it to create moving bars. The standard values for these are usually 90 to 100 or 80 to 100. The direction determines whether it will be horizontal or vertical. If you input 0 or 180, it will be vertical, but with values like 90, it will be horizontal. Uh, you can also modify the graph for more control over its timing. Uh, I hope you understood it, as I don't want to spend any more time on this. You can pre-compose the layer and Add RSMB if you want that extra smoothness. Now for the color correction part, create three adjustment layers and on the first, uh, add SU sad dried from sapphire and follow my instruction. The second null layer will be for detailing. If you want further justification and explanation on detailing and coloring from a beginner's perspective, 
you can watch the color correction tutorial I made from the top right corner of YouTube or from the description. On the third layer, add magic bullet looks and follow my setting. 